Perhaps one of the biggest differences between sketching rooms and sketching roofs are the roof locks. What are they for and why do they sometimes seem to lock themselves? Let's take a couple of minutes to demystify the roof locks and see how they can be used to sketch irregular roofs. The first step to working with roof locks is to know how they can be locked and unlocked. Click on a measurement with a lock. Next to the number field, you can click the lock to toggle it between being locked and unlocked. When a measurement is locked, any handles that would affect it cannot be moved. Almost always, a roof measurement automatically locks when a measurement with a lock is typed in. This can be a powerful shortcut once you can anticipate the locking. By default, Xactimate places the ridge of the roof in the middle of the two edges, with both faces the same size. However, some roofs are not symmetrical in this way. This is where roof locks are best used. As you dimension one face, lock the measurement for the run, which is the horizontal measurement as opposed to the rafter length. This will keep the face from changing sizes as you modify the other size. Dimension the other side. Since the ridge is locked in place, the roof can be dimensioned properly. You can now use roof locks in Sketch to control the dimensions for a particular face. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.